I could probably work with this and make my online Avastar look like my in-person Avastar. Oh, I think I've already hit a roadblock. Hey Vbuds, I'm back, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some brand new dolls that just released called My Avastars, Avatar Stars of the Metaverse, which I was sent for free so I can check them out and give you guys a review. And I'll explain why I'm excited to try these out in just a sec. After we take a look at the boxes, which are pretty much the same for all three dolls. So today I've got a vibe thing, Kawaii Pie, and Dreamer 3.0. And all three dolls are holding on to a phone with some words beside it, letting us know that there will be codes inside for us to redeem. That way, when we dress up our dolls in person, we'll be able to recreate those same characters online, bringing the real world into our avatar world for a whole new playtime experience. And on the front of each box, behind the doll's face, we get a peek of what we're getting inside, which of course will include our 11 inch doll, in this case, it's a vibe thing, with a whole bunch of items as well as stickers that we can reuse over and over to create over a hundred different looks. The same will go for Kawaii Pie and Dreamer 3.0, and check it out, she's got a diner in the background. Loving it! That is totally my aesthetic. Now, to be completely honest, I saw these dolls live and in person when I was at Sweet Sweet this past summer, and even got a chance to take pictures with Elvira from the doll circle as Kawaii Pie and Claudina 9 as Dreamer 3.0, who were dressed up as some of the characters that I'm actually gonna be able to check out today. Like I said, for the most part, the dolls boxes are all the same, so on the top of the box we see the logo saying My Avastar's Avatar Stars of the Metaverse. On one side we can see all three dolls, and on the opposite side we'll see their names. So that would be Kawaii Pie, Dreamer 3.0, and a vibe thing. And finally, if we turn them around, on the back of the boxes we've got pictures of our doll. Oh, dropping stuff with some of the items that are not only in this box, but also redeemable in the game once we find our code inside. Because unfortunately guys, even though it says meta dolls here, that's just an example. And lastly, at the very bottom of the box, we can see all five dolls that are currently available in series one. So I'm just gonna move these two dolls out of the way for now and let my kids open them off camera so that they can play with them for a bit and try dressing them up, reusing the stickers, and of course, testing out the online website. That way we have some actual child feedback. And while they do that, we're gonna be opening up and checking out a vibe thing. All right, so the box is opened and inside I have found myself three packages of taped up cardboard with plastic tops, which are filled with different items. Then we've got a plastic wrapped hat, a packet with stickers, a code, and a card with our doll on it. And then attached to plastic and cardboard, we have our bear doll body. Not bear, but bear as in blank. And in this case, it's a warm brown complexion. After a couple snips, our body is free, giving us a look at the actual movement of our doll, which includes a rotating head on a ball joint, arms that have a 360 vertical rotation, 360 rotating hands, and legs that are straight, but can push forward at a 90 degree angle. And check it out, our doll can stand even though we're missing feet. Instead, we've just got two holes, which match the one on top of the head. But worry not, friends, because this is all for a very good, customizable reason, which I will show you now. But I can't show you what that is until I've opened up these packages. Oh my goodness, if I can get into them. There we go. So in this first package here, we've got a pair of plain white rubber heeled shoes and the insides are completely square, matching the bottom of the doll's feet. And it doesn't even matter if it's right or left because they're the exact same. And the best part is the body still stands unassisted. Next, we've got some detailed pink rubber shorts. And if we turn it around to the back, you can see how easily these open so that we can dress our doll really easily. Just lift the legs and the arms if they're in the way, put the clothing where it goes, and then secure the little tabs inside the holes. 
And just like that, the shorts are on. Next, we've got this pale pink long sleeve shirt, and it opens in the back just like the shorts do, once again for super easy dressing. Was that even five seconds? Like, I don't know. And you're probably wondering why I'm so crazy calling this a long sleeve when clearly there are none here. Well, that's because they're right here. That's right, we have absolutely no need to fuss with arms, placement, or actual sleeves because with these, we just gotta split them and stick them on. And just like that, we've completed the first outfit. But the best part about this is we don't really have to use these. So if we take them off, we've actually got a completely different styled shirt here, which is why the package says that we've got over a hundred different possible outfits. So now we're strapless, or I can leave just one sleeve, but I think for now, I'll just leave both of them on. This look is really coming together, but I really think we need some hair. So I'm gonna open up this package here. Doo -doo -doo. So it looks like we've got a gray four piece hairstyle here and they've got lines and such built into them. So this is the main portion here. And inside we actually have that same hexagon shape that was on top of the doll's head. And then we've got a few little holes at the front where we can attach the bangs. Down at the bottom, we've got two holes where we can stick our buns. Then all we have to do is pop it on the head. And although she looks pretty fabulous right now, I gotta say, I think she might look better with a face. So that's where this little packet here is gonna come in handy. So inside I've got my card for a redemption code, which I can use on the My Avastars website. We've got some instructions showing us how to use the different accessories in the set, as well as the stickers. And then a full color card showing us our doll in one of her outfits. And on the back, we've got a fake mirror, which will come in handy in a few minutes. And finally, the best part, we've got two full sticker sheets of various faces and accessories so that we can customize everything from the way her head looks, bam, instant personality, clothing decals, jewelry, and even shoe designs. And the best part is, these are completely reusable, so you can change it up anytime. You just gotta carefully peel them off and stick them on the back of your fake mirror. Same doll, whole new look, all from swapping out stickers, and I could keep going, but I'm not gonna do that because we still have her second outfit to take a look at. This time we have four pieces. So we've got these white sneakers that have blue and red on the front and some shooting stars on the side. A black puff vest with yellow in the front and a blue strappy dress. And of course, we still have to open up our hat. It's all red and when we put it on, it looks like a toque, even though it also resembles a bowl. Oh, I took her whole hair off, but that's okay because we're gonna be dressing her again anyways. And taking all this stuff off is gonna be just as easy as it was to put on. Bam, boom, bam, ta-da! And since I'm gonna be starting from scratch, I'm just gonna remove all the stickers I've got on, including my fake little cheeks. Oh, doll down, doll down. <laughs> there we go, blank slate ready to start over. Will it be harder than last time? Let's see. Step one, complete. Puffer vest, puffer vest. Oh, this is actually the trickiest part, maybe. Ah! Never mind, it's still easy, I'm just a dodo. I was gonna say, the puffer vest was a little bit trickier, but no. As long as we put the arms behind, it's a piece of cake. Now all we need are shoes, like I said. Hello. Oh yeah, and a face and stuff like that. But first I just wanna show you, see how we have those sleeves? Because they're separated, we could literally continue adding and creating new looks by just switching things up. But this doesn't look good together, so. We won't be doing that. We will, however, be adding a face. And this time, I think it's gonna be pink. Just like that. Oh, no, not just like that. We have an air bubble. Hold on, try that again. Just like that. Okay, I was gonna copy what she looks like on the box, but she's not really wearing anything. And also, I noticed a difference. I guess, ah, I knocked her over. I guess in the original design for the shoes, they were meant to be blue and red and also have red around the bottom, which they don't. Anyways, her box art was pretty plain in this look, so I'm just gonna decorate it how I want to, which is gonna be with this dripping cat. I'm gonna keep it simple. She's a star. And then maybe a not crooked cool belt. Oh yes, and then of course, give her back her hair. Ta-da! There we go. I don't really like that sticker very much, to be honest. There's a big air bubble that forms under it because it's not so sticky. Simple face swap, everything changes. A whole new look. Now I'm gonna try out some mix and match options, like the pink sleeves with her blue dress. 
Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Now I'll try the shorts, a shirt, and that puffer jacket. This one, I'm interested to see if it's gonna work because we're doubling up on the chest layers. Oh, look at that, it does fit. Hold on, I'm gonna try to put these sleeves back on. Should I, should I? I'm doing it. What? That is way too exciting. Apparently I need to get out more. Okay, oh, we need some jewelry. We need some jewelry. I don't know if I could fit it on now. I kinda should have done it already. It's a little crooked. But it's fine, it's fine. It's totally okay. Who cares? No one's looking anyways. Now for the hair. Um, no, no, no. I don't like the sleeves with the vest. Daughter, what do you think of my creation? It's good. Her enthusiasm speaks volumes. Great, seal of approval. So like I said, I had my kids open up two of the My Avastar dolls. That way they could play around for a little bit and give us some honest child feedback and create their own original outfit for us to take a look at. And first up, we have Kawaii Pie. She's got a pale skin complexion and comes with a two-piece hairstyle that's long and bright pink with tendrils in the front. For her outfit, the kids gave her a long pink undershirt with a light pink dress on top, which matches her leg warmers and everything's finished off with a light blue pair of dress shoes. We've got a super cute face for her of light pink and purple and a whole bunch of extra stickers to customize. Most of them are moons and stars but we have some little anime lines for her cheeks as well as a little band-aid on her nose. She also came with some other things like this green tank top, a super cute pastel pink, blue, and yellow tie-dye skirt, a blue cut-off sweater that really just covers the arms, some mismatched leg warmers of pink and yellow, some bright white sneakers, We've got a pale yellow headband with little orange pom-poms on top, and of course her card and mirror, which does have some stickers on the back, and then all the rest of her stickers. Next up, we have Dreamer 3.0, who has a bit more of a tanned complexion and comes with a bright green two-piece hair look, which is long in the back and has short bangs in the front. She's got a light blue headband with purple butterfly wings on either side, and is currently wearing a light pink tank top with purple shorts that have a yellow belt and long purple boots with some pockets to decorate them along with the rest of her custom look. The other accessories that came in the box include this green vest here, some matching green track pants, the sleeves to that vest, which turn it into a sweater, a bright pink tank top, crisp white sneakers, and of course, we've got her card with the mirror on the back and all her extra stickers. Now it's time to try out the My Avastars website. So here it is. Basically, we get a quick look at all the dolls that are available in this series, and it looks like a lot of them are on sale for launch, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, even though the box says there is a game that we get to play using our Avastar creations. Currently, it's in the works, meaning it's not complete yet. So for now, all we get to do is create our My Avastar virtual doll. And then of course, we can try them out on the fashion stage. So it looks like you create a name, which is pretty easy with these drop down menus here. And they even offered a screenshot and save the info so that you don't lose it, which is a really nice touch. And based on what I see here, it seems like anyone can use this site to create online Avastar dolls, even if you didn't pick up one in box. That's pretty cool. We've got choice of complexions here, different clothing items for different parts of the body, and some accessories. So I'm just gonna mess with this and see what I can create. We'll call her Jen GBTV. And I did what I could using the free items they provided. There wasn't a lot of choice, but I'm not gonna complain since we have a free option available. But if you do have a redemption code, you will obviously get more. So I'm gonna punch in my code for a vibe thing to see what kind of items they give me. And it looks Looks like I do get a fair bit of what's in the box, but not everything. That's okay. I could probably work with this and make my online Avastar look like my in-person Avastar. Hopefully. Wish me luck. Oh, I think I've already hit a roadblock. I can't get rid of her sleeves like we can in real life. Boo. Okay, well, we'll just continue on and pretend that they're not there. Let's get some jewelry going. It looks like I have some of them working, but unfortunately most of them aren't. And the ones that I want to use, which I just unlocked and actually look like the ones my doll is wearing, I can't get to show up. And they're not being blocked. I even tried swapping shirts and stuff. So that's kind of a downer, but maybe they're working on that in the 
back end. We'll have to see if they change anything later on. As for pictures, we've got all these different decals that we can use, and there's a fair bit here, even without a redemption code. So I'm gonna try to use the ones that are on my doll and make it match by adding some of these. Uh, but it looks like we can only add to either the left arm, right arm, and same for the legs. So we can't actually put these anywhere other than the sides of sleeves, tall boots, or basically on the skin. Looking like tattoos. Which I mean, that could be what you're going for, but for me it wasn't. I wanted to be able to move them around on the clothing. Since that's kind of the fun of customizing. So once again, hopefully they fix that in the future. So I guess this is it for a vibe thing. <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get. So I've moved on to Kawaii Pie, but my daughter logged in to create this one. So you might notice that some of the items I just unlocked are no longer available. And that's just because this is a different account. But right away I can see my daughter's having the same struggles that I was. Unfortunately, we can't use all of the new unlocked items. We're having the same issue with jewelry. Her moon belt isn't even here and we can't reposition the pictures, which is kind of unfortunate since my daughter has a really cute design on Kawaii Pie's face with band-aids and cute little anime lines. I know she was excited to try to recreate her virtually, but it looks like this is as good as she's getting. So I guess this is where she's gonna stop and send her off to the stage. She doesn't even look happy out here. Wah, wah, wah. As you can tell, it's booze. Because of course, a vibe thing. We already know she was better. Just kidding. <laughs> and finally, we have Dreamer 3.0. Once again, I've redeemed the code, checked out everything that she comes with, and am pleased to see that most of her stuff is actually here. But as predicted, the same issues are happening for her. This is a new program, so I get it. I just really hope that it's fixed soon. Because like I said, we've got all these cute little pictures to use, but no way to accessorize the way we want to without placement options. And let's face it, that's really the biggest portion of this doll and the online compatibility. So fingers crossed there will be an update eventually, as well as a game, because that would be cool. All right, so we are back at the table now. The website's pretty cool. Like I said, there is no current real gameplay, just the dress up aspect but that should be coming soon, and when it does, I'm eager to check it out. For now, as you can see, I've got these ladies here, and because they all have a compatible body type, I'm really excited to mix and match all the pieces to create one-of-a-kind looks. Because although you have so many opportunities to create different looks using just one kit, if you have multiple, then you have even more options. Like one of my favorite things, which is to mix and match the hair pieces, giving us multicolor looks and swapping stickers because each doll seems to have two different general themes in their pack, but some come with things like pockets. Pockets, pockets, pockets. Which would be awesome to add to clothing that doesn't have pockets on other dolls. And a quick flaw that we discovered while swapping the looks of these dolls is that if you layer your stickers, there is the potential for the image or color to come off. This belt here was on top of this piece, and as you can see, the color has pulled away from from the purple. That might need to be addressed. Maybe if somebody from the company is watching, they could look into an alternative. And if you do remove the stickers that have been on the clothing for a while, it does leave behind a bit of a greasy residue. And there you have it, guys. The first three dolls that came out from the My Avastars line. And I do know that Hype Girl 77 is on her way to me. I'm really excited about that because she has black hair and I want to make a gen My Avastar. So when she arrives, hopefully the game will be ready to play so we can try that out again. For now, I have to say I am a fan of these and I like the idea of having complete customization opportunities with the dolls. You can make them whatever you want. And even better news is I was informed by a Wowie rep that boy designs are on the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did and haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews, especially leading up into the holidays, because I'm here to help you decide whether or not these trendy toys are worth your money or should you just pass on them? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!